Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons, where in our previous episode, our adventures died. Uh, the ma- okay, so Tony or Alan Dahl end up being in the afterlife. <laughs> a weird way to say die. <laughs> well, he died the previous ep- the episode before that, and yeah. then he was in the afterlife. So, oh, okay. so he was okay. just able to fa- see everything that's going on in Talthania at the moment. Yeah. So he was checking out on his uh, mother. He checked on the city of Eol and checked where Artemis and his ships were going. Uh, that's the majority of what he saw, and then. The rest of our adventures were uh, just selling a bunch of goods they had for lots and lots of money and trying to scam uh, certain people out of money, and then they tr- oh, yeah. and then those people tried to scam them out of money in turn. And or then a big scam. we left off where all of our adventures were just going into the bar. Well, one of the bigger bars in town, which is the uh, the Hungry Bard, and then. So you're all outside of, the, outside of this building. There's a big banner on top of the door that says the Hungry Bard. And there's like a mandolin on one side, a lute on the other side of the sign. And then the words are all painted in like a, a bright blue. And as you enter the build, the uh, bar, or I guess pub, it's more of a pub. You see that it's kind of like a rustic looking building and that... It's actually really bustling, so um, it's a very large pub that has a door connected to the Thirsty Bard, which is next door, which is a bar. And it seems like there's always people entering and leaving this, uh, both the bar and the pub at all times, and it's kind of got like a rustic vibe. Uh, as you look around, you see paintings of all kinds, it all seems to be the exact same artist. Uh, you see some paintings, so there's a painting of an airship falling from the sky, one of an unrecognized I- island, a group of adventures, which as you look closer, it's a Rakshasa, a summer Eldrin, fire Genasi, and a tiefling, as well as a uh, summer, I mean a uh, winter Eldrin. And yeah, you just see a lot of people eating and chatting and doing what they do. Uh, so what would you guys like to do? I order a drink. Okay. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, you're, yeah, I forgot you're not here. Uh, also, uh, Duncan was an, unable to show up for the session, so he's just going to be an NPC for this uh, session. Uh, so I'll start with everyone except for Tony or Aelendal. Why did we come here again? To get drunk. <laughs> I thought there was a legitimate reason. Oh, man. I get to drink again. <laughs> you're underage, slow man. <laughs> Ryan does pike up that he was going to meet a uh, dwarf named Druman here. But you don't actually see... Well, he he doesn't see who he was here to meet at all at this moment in time. Well, I'm going to entertain myself with some drinks until this dwarf shows up. And I'll head over to the bar <coughs> and order... The weakest drink, I guess. Okay. I don't get too... Fucked up. Yeah. So, uh, the Hungry Bard is just a restaurant, but you can order drinks with your food and stuff like that. And then Ooh. Thirsty Bard is next door, which is the actual bar. Okay. <laughs> so are you staying in the Hungry Bard or going to the Thirsty Bard? I'll order some wings. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is Wing Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, yeah, so you go up to, like, where you order and you order some wings, and it's a summer... No, a sprained Eldrin who greets you, who's uh, kind of tall in height, has long, longish curly hair. And yeah, he just takes your order. And he says, I don't recognize you or the guys you came in with. Are you guys new in town? Yeah, we just stopped by to get some stuff and uh, explore this place. Okay, great. The name's Airdron. Uh, welcome to my pub. Nice to meet you. It's a very quaint place. Thanks. Um, and just so you know, in about an hour or two, uh, I'll actually be performing next door, and then Xerthos, I'm not sure if you know him yet, he'll be performing after I do. Oh, that little 
Uh, runt. What should I say? <laughs> runt. Be nice. He's friendly guy. <laughs> Be nice. That guy's actually like been super cool with us. <laughs> that little runt. Oh, know you, you know him? Yeah, he has some uh, pretty good work. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought so too. Uh, yeah, I'll bring up your food right away. Do you want any drinks or anything to go with it? I'll have a root beer. <laughs> What kind of wings would you like, sir? <laughs> Mild, medium, hot, salt and pepper? Alive. What? <laughs> what? And I, I did send a list of like specialty, specialty drinks that you can get here or in the bar next door. Oh, yeah, I got it. If you have had looked at that. I'm going to make you oh. repeat it later. <laughs> All you said? Uh, uh, I, Blaze, will make my way to the Thirsty Bar. Okay. I will walk through the adjoining doorway, and I will approach the bartender, uh, and I'm, I have to, like, stand up onto the chair because I'm so small, and I'll be like, hey! <laughs> oh, me too. I'll take a look. Hey! <laughs> I just got paid 750 gold! <laughs> what do you have to drink? Uh, the bartender answers to you, uh, pretty much anything you could ever want. Ale, beer, wine, and we've got some... We don't have fizzy pop here. That's not a thing. <laughs> what? Uh, and we have a few specialty drinks that are like special for this. Well, that are ordered a lot in this bar. What's your most special specialty drink? Um, I've just got to find where I actually had the list. Uh, listen, listen. You're not getting anything to drink, dude. You're underage. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse you. I yeah. am not. Do you see this mask? Yeah, I also saw you shrink and your voice grow higher pitched. That does not mean anything other than I am shorter. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you over 14 years old? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, <laughs> I am. Good. What? <laughs> what is this place? <clears throat> it's a place for... It's us. a respectable establishment. I'm not here. That. Uh, so when you ask what their most popular drink is, they say it's the multi-dimensional buzzing brew. And they'll say, um, this is actually a very strong drink. It might not be good for someone as young as you. I'll take one. Okay. No, but it is extremely refreshing and will bring back the best memories of your life. I do like that. Ooh. I need some of that. Okay. You got anything for someone who's depressed? This multi-dimensional buzzing brew might actually <laughs> help a lot. I... I have no happy memories anymore. We'll take two. I don't want one! <laughs> what else do you have? Uh, well, as far as for someone who might be sad, uh, the running rum is always a fun one to order for someone else. What is that? So basically, you, you order a shot of rum, and then the shot glass is animated, and then whoever you order it for has to catch the rum glass before it runs away and drink it, else they have to pay. That sounds fucking great. <laughs> um, you're still on the Hungry Bard, right, uh, Zach? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would like to order one of the plate. How much are they? Uh, it'll be five silver. Oh, that's fucking gold. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to order one of those for the summer eldritch in the Hungry Bard. His name is uh, Lazarus, and I want I want him to hour two for him. <laughs> <laughs> two, two at the same time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sounds good. I like your style. <laughs> It's ten silver pieces, yeah? Yeah, or just one gold. I'll give you ten silver. <laughs> <laughs> I'll order two for the same man. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, like your, I like your thinking. High yeah. Five. I'm going to have a fun night. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, so he starts making the thoughts, and uh, he casts the animation on... The four shots first, then makes the two uh, multi-dimensional buzzing brews for you. And uh, when you see him uh, create the drink, you see that it's a strong, it looks to be a strong black rum that you actually don't recognize the name of it all. You've never heard of it anywhere. Uh, you also see some kind of jelly-like type thing that is mixed in. You're not tricked. Well, actually, you could roll a... Uh, Investigation check. Or you could ask, just ask what it is. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna roll. Investigation? Yeah. That's terrible. It's a one. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I rolled it good. I rolled a 23. Yeah, so, uh, Farron, you, you have absolutely no clue what this is. You think it could just be, like, 
A dead jellyfish? Yeah, a dead jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just look at oh, gross. <laughs> you, however, you know that it looks exactly like Oplex jelly. I lean into Bear and I'm like, This doesn't seem safe at all. That's, uh, he's putting in like a monster into your drink. It's a dead, dead jellyfish. No! <laughs> it's an Oblex! What's an Oblex? An Oblex is a little slime creature that consumes people's memories and takes on their form and parades around as them. It's like he's, he's feeding you something Mind Flayers made. Remember that thing that kind of fucked us up on the island? Ooh, what? Yeah! He, he wasn't there. Oh! <laughs> you weren't there! No, this Don't drink that drink! Don't drink that! And Don't then the it. bartender hears this and he says, This is actually cured elder oblex jelly, so it's gone through a process that actually takes away any of the uh, evilness or villainous of it and just keeps the memory property, so it'll actually enhance the memories you have. Why didn't you just say that before we got into this little spooky story he told us? <laughs> I try not to interrupt. God, you got me all rattled up. And then you see that there's some, like, flour that he uses a nestle and, uh, no, uh... Mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle on. And then, uh, put some of that into the drink as well. And then he shakes that all together and pours it over crushed ice. And puts a sprinkling of gold dust over top. That's fine looking. It's very fancy. I'm really fine. And then he hands both them to you. Oh, I, I still don't want one. <laughs> I'll give you. Uh, I'll, turn, <laughs> I'll say, is there who, who's all in the air, in the bar area with us? Is there any other people? Oh yeah, there's tons of people. So you see, uh, three tieflings in here, one halfling, a, a, another human. You actually see a triton, a gnome, Goliath, dwarf, two orcs, and one half elf. I'm gonna go Just to the the two orcs with this. <laughs> drink. Okay. Uh, so, one is female, one is male. Uh, the male is middle aged and seems pretty tall and quite overweight. And then the female is a very old orc, like probably around seventy years old. Oh, they're having a, a mate. <laughs> <laughs> extremely, extremely rare for an orc, and she is very short and very skinny. Hey. Which one of you is more depressed than the other? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, they both say, uh, we're, we're not really depressed. We're just trying to have a good time in the bar. Who wants this drink? I heard it's supposed to make you happy and shit. What is it? What's it? It's oh. the multidimensional buzzing brew. It's the multidimensional buzzing brew. <laughs> uh, the female will actually take it. There'll be five gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Here, I don't want it. My friend ordered me one, but I could care less, so it's all yours. Oh, wow. thank you so much. She's gonna die. And Why is she gonna die? I don't know. <laughs> She's just gonna die, dude. I, She's so I, I small, like... and there's all that brew. She might you poison herself. <laughs> You're dark. <laughs> and she just, like, takes the drink, uh... Drinks all of it, and you just see her sort of smile and kind of just sighs in like contentness. Oh my goodness! All right, sweet. I go to do a thumbs up, but I use my mouth hand by accident. Ah shit! <laughs> and then I do the hand, and then I'm gonna. Uh, the male orc actually jumps a little bit at that. Oh the come female on! Orc just is calm. About come it. on, dude! You're an orc. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wow. scared? Wow! Wow! <laughs> we get him. Ra- <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> Hey, screw you, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna depart. I'm gonna go back to the Hungry Bar and just get some wings. Okay. This was a bust for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, then you see one of the waitresses here bring four shots over to the Hungry Bar to uh, Lazarus. And she says, Yay! It seems like you have some friends who body these drinks. <laughs> well, that's fun. <laughs> What are they? Uh, it's called a running rum. It's mostly just rum. Okay. <laughs> are you sitting at the table right now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, she sets, she somehow sets all four of them down at the same time. And then you see a second later, they all <laughs> sort of split off in different directions. And start running away. Hey, hey, server. <laughs> <laughs> My drinks are kind of <laughs> running off. You better go catch them. 
And then she just chuckles. Why is that my fault? <laughs> In the corner, you can see me leaning up against the bar going, Ah! <laughs> Got him! Uh, I'll start running for one of them, okay. I guess. Okay. Uh, just roll an either athletics or acrobatics check. I'm gonna nail it. Twelve. Wow. You are able to actually pretty easily catch this first drink, so you like kind of dive on the floor and catch it just in one hand while it's running. And as soon as I catch it, I down it. Okay. Uh, you down it and it, it's, it actually tastes like really good rum. You've never tried this rum before, but it tastes good. I'd say that was pretty worth it, and I'll start uh, charging after the other three. Okay, uh, they they all split up in different directions, so... Uh, just roll, roll another acrobatics for this next one. Wild goose chase. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, you see that there's one that's just sneak, trying to sneakily hide beneath the table, and you see it kind of jittering its uh, little feet, thinking that it's super excited and super sneaky, and then you just, like, swipe it easily and take it. Nice. Drown that one, and, uh... How are you not drunk here? <laughs> do, I, do I see Blaze as I'm running around? Uh, I'm not hiding. Check. I'm not hiding, so... Perception... Nine. Uh... <laughs> you get a glimpse of it, yeah. Okay. I was gonna throw the cup at him, but I'm, I'm just gonna fucking okay. toss it. And I'll run after the other two. Okay, uh, just roll two more acrobatics or athletics check. Twenty-one... And a 19. Uh, so, uh, this next one... Uh, let's see, what's this one doing? Uh, this third one was just kind of walking out. It was super confident that you weren't going to catch it because you went after the other two first. And you sneak up on it and easily just snatch it out of wherever it was. Nice. And then the last one, you see is just about to... Just at the door, just waiting for someone to open the door so it can get out. And it, like, is about to cross the line. The door is just opened, and you, like, dive and catch it before it's able to, like, move past the door. And after I drink that one, I, I smash that cup on the ground. Okay. <laughs> because I'm now hype after drinking four shots yeah. and running around the fucking <laughs> place. Yeah, they're all a constitution check, please. Nice. See, I got a six. <laughs> yeah. So the way you dove for the assassin wasn't actually intentional. <laughs> 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 you, to you, it seemed like the assassin was going to the right, so you tried to dive to the right, but actually ended up diving straight forwards just because you were off balance and a bit drunk already. But you ended up catching it. Somehow. Nice. You are still holding it all in, though. You're just quite drunk already. Okay. Well, now that I have a. Uh... Very good buzz going. I'm going to go to the Thirsty Bard because I still wanted to try out a Rye of the Beholder. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Farron, what are you doing right now? I'm drinking my thing. Okay. Okay, so uh, you drink this... Um, my buzzing brew. This buzzing brew, and... It tastes excellent. You do get a really strong taste of alcohol, but it just um, makes that taste even better. And as you drink it, it goes down super smooth, and you start to feel content, and you start to smile on con like subconsciously, and then you start to actually think of the best memories in your life. So, what would you be? What memory would you be thinking of right now? Ah, oh, being on the farm with my parents. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so your senses are amplified in this memory, and it's almost like a dream for you right now. So you're back on your farm with your parents, back in whatever dimension you came from. And you smell all of the smells of the farm, whether it's... Like, all of them seem to be really good smells to you at this moment. Uh, you see your mom and dad just chatting and, like, laughing and stuff like that. And you smell the smell of baked bread fresh from their oven. Uh, and you're just petting your favorite dog or whatever pets you may have on the farm. And it's just a extremely surreal and super happy memory to you. And if there's anything else you want to add that, to that, please do. 
No, it's very nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just in the corner, just like staring at the wall <laughs> and like smiling like an idiot. Like you feel 100% content with yourself. This is good. I like this drink. I am in happy place. <laughs> uh, I'll go to you, Tony right now, or Alan awesome. Dom. So, uh, you are still in this void area, this limbo area, be- between death and uh, life. Yeah. Uh, what is it you're looking at right now? Um, <clears throat> I guess I'd just be following my friends, just watching over them, seeing where okay. they're going, just so, like, I guess I have a pretty good good idea where I'm going after I come back alive again. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so you see your friends walking into the bar, and then about... You can't actually look into the bar, be- yeah, just because it, like, it's not like an overhead view, kind of like Google Maps. The Sims. Google. <laughs> the Sims. <laughs> yeah. Just playing yeah, Sims with us now. <laughs> membership before you can oh, yeah. unroof things. And then about 20 minutes later, you see another a dwarf come to the door. And it looks almost exactly like Ryan. Oh, damn. And I, did I see R- Ryan going before? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. Would I have known about us going to meet the dwarf guy? Probably. I, I don't think Ryan actually said anything about it. I don't think so. Oh. Well, I'll Ryan, whack. Ryan, oh, not to you. He did just say no. no. And then you see two thug-looking guys approach from behind. One puts a hood over him, and one just picks him up and carries him away. Nice. And he's like... He can't scream because the mouth's over his mouth, and but he's just really struggling. I kind of chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put a mouth over his mouth. <laughs> That's what you said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I was like, what? Mouth. They're kissing? <laughs> <laughs> the guy holds him down. The other one smooches him. <laughs> he can do nothing. <laughs> just let it happen. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of just chuckle, and I'm like, oh. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um... Damn, alright. Uh, I retain this information in my head. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you're looking at? No. No? Um, I wish I could go down as a ghost and like haunt things. Yeah. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Maybe next time I die. Um, That's the level two death. Okay, yeah. I guess I just gotta keep dying, you know? <laughs> you I'm expendable at this point, honestly. <laughs> you gotta upgrade yeah. your death su- subscription. <laughs> yeah, you're playing a Revenant, Tony. You should just like... For- Kicks, kill yourself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> just run into battle with a sword and everything. The enemy's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> we'll we'll try. <laughs> kill me, I dare you! <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, that's all I... Mm. Yeah, that's all I do. It's just okay. watch over. Okay, there's nothing else in Eol or anywhere else in Totania you want to look at? Uh, not really. Um, Maybe I'll check over, yeah, by where I saw... Artemis last and see if he's still heading towards you because he was kind of or no yeah. he was on the sh- the sea right yeah, yeah he was uh on a ship yeah uh, yeah I want to check what he's up to yeah, check so what my bro Artemis is doing as you go back to his where he was before there's no one there but you do as you go further and span further and further up you do see that same fleet of ships is still going towards what looks like Eo oh, okay. they seem to be a day or two away oh oh no. <laughs> Um, I see. <laughs> do I see Artemis on there? We you do. Plenty yeah. Of time. Okay. Yeah, a day or two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the like other side of the map. <laughs> That's lots of time. <laughs> it's a day or two. Um, I get close in as close in as to Artemis as I can, and I call him a bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and... Bitch. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah. Then I just go. I go back to. Uh, the bar and just keep an eye on my friends okay keep an eye on my friends uh i'll go back to lazarus now so you <laughs> were wanting to get a rye or yeah rye of the beholder yes okay uh so you uh also while you guys are in the restaurant please roll a perception check oh done bro oh. huh not one <laughs> that's a 16 plus Whatever my perception is. 23. Which is... I'm not the last one to discover this. So perception. Uh, this is 17. 17? Okay. So, please, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary in this bar. I mean, in this restaurant. 
what you notice is that at least like 70% of the tables here have the exact same food and it looks to be kind of a fried kind of thing with some meat and cheese and vegetables inside it and it's like a like all wrapped around it's just all the same yeah and as you look at the menu that seems to be what is called a calzone and if you ask around this seems to be a creation that <laughs> the owner of this restaurant actually created <laughs> that his name is Erdron calzone okay <laughs> Is any of my companions around me right now? Uh, is anyone with Farron right now? I'm still in the hungry bar. I'm in the sky. You're, are you still in the bar? <laughs> yeah, I'm in the bar. Okay. Uh, yeah, no one... Uh, or, uh, I would have been going to the bar, yeah, yeah. You see him just walking in. <laughs> I'll just say what you see uh, before this happens. So, you see the same thing. There are lots of these calzones. You also see a dwarf that looks a lot like Ryan had kidnapped outside. You just see it barely through a window. Um. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, I would have looked for Ryan right after I seen that. Okay. Because I would have assumed that was actually Ryan. Okay. Yeah, you, you actually see Ryan uh, as you go back and as you go to get to your eye of the beholder. Um. I think that it's not that much of a big deal. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm seeing like double because I'm yeah, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> a quest for another day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, then you go and order your arrive the beholder and you see that uh, it's this kind of like purplish drink that is poured out of what looks to be a skull of a beholder. Brutal. And then... Uh, you see the bartender plop a old beholder eye inside the drink as well. Absolutely. And then you see the eye start to like, disintegrate the moment it touches the rum Speaking or the alcohol. It seems like a very metal drink. <laughs> and he says, enjoy. <laughs> as I pick it up, I ask the bartender, is this a sipping drink or... Uh, As if, I if you it sip it, <laughs> okay. if you sip it, you will slowly get the experience of it. If you chug it, you'll get it immediately. Okay, well, I'm chugging it. Okay, uh, you chug it, and then about thirty seconds late later, uh, you sort of see all around you as if you have like ten additional like eyes or eye stalks on your head, so you can see all around you. Hey, Lazarus. We oh, should. What's up? <laughs> you you noticing a pattern around here with the food, or is that just me? What is there? Was there a problem with my wings? <laughs> what? No, not your wings. No, what's being served to the customers here <clears throat> versus what's on the menu? Like, look at the tables. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, it, it looks good, whatever they're serving. It's just all the same. I want what they have. And I'm curious as to what this is. <laughs> just order one. <laughs> that, yeah, you should just order one. Okay, I'm going to go order one. Okay. Make it sound like a murder mystery. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, if, if everyone else likes it, it's probably a fucking... A, something that's really good. Yeah, so you go to the... Where you order, and you order, you ask what it is, and uh, Airdron tells you it's called a Kelzo, and it's actually a food item of my own making that I created over the last few years. And it's one of the most popular dishes here. Uh, lots of people really enjoy it, so I, I hope you do too. Yeah, I'll take one. Okay, awesome. And then he goes back into the, to the back, starts making it, and you see someone walk out with your wings and put them on the table in front of you. Nice. Uh, and then... Uh, please. So, roll a perception check, please. Uh... Twelve. Twelve? 
Uh, so you, have, you being that you're an artist, you definitely notice all of the paintings of different times on the swall, and they all seem to be the same artists, and you've never actually seen this exact artist's artist before, but that's really all you notice. Cool paintings. As I reach in my bag, it behold my my uh bag of holding. Thank you. <laughs> Butchered that bag of holding, and I pull out my gun, and I just set it down <laughs> on top of the bar, oh and I pull out my new tinkerer's kit. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work on that while my friends are drinking and eating. Okay. okay. Well, no one knows what the gun yeah. is. Well, yeah. As far as I know, I just brought like a really cool looking it's walking stick. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm just gonna plop it right down on the bar. I'm gonna start working on it. I'm gonna dissect this machine. Okay. Uh, roll and tinkers check. Yeah, I guess tinkers check. Yeah. So I don't. I'm not proficient. No. So what does that mean? I just roll straight up. Yeah. That one. Ten. Uh, you, you have difficulty taking it apart, but it takes quite a while. Sorry. Just I'm just getting really choked off. up. <laughs> uh, but eventually you do take it all apart, and you have all these pieces in front of you, and... Do yeah. you think I figured out how it works? Roll an intelligence check. Oh, baby, that's what I'm good at. I think, yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, good. No! <laughs> Seven. <laughs> uh, you you still have no idea how this really works. That's you okay. think you know how to put it back together, but you're not sure exactly what causes what to make it go boom. Damn it! I will figure your secrets out, metal thing. <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll clean it, and then I'll just put it back in my bag, and then I'm gonna pull out something else. Since we're apparently spending the night here, I'm just gonna <laughs> total fiddle around with my stuff. I'm gonna pull out. What did I got something else, didn't I? No. Was that it? I oh, well then. No, I'm gonna pull out my wildlife book and I'm just gonna sit at the bar. Since they're okay. being goofers, I'm just gonna read until the morning. Okay. Uh, oh, one other thing you noticed about the paintings was oh. even if there were any. Like, there are some landscape ones, but you've never seen this kind of landscape anywhere in Taltania. What? Well. As an artist, I know sometimes we make things up in our heads, so I'm not even going to question it. Okay. Uh, I'll go back to you, Tony. Yes. Uh, so was there anything else you wanted to check out, or are you just keeping track of your friends? Um, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, actually, am I able to follow that that uh, dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I totally just forgot about it. Tony, that's a quest for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I just want to know where he's going. <laughs> or where they kidnapped him and took him yeah. here. Uh, you see the two bandits or whatever they are uh, pick him up and br- uh, go through a kind of maze of roads. So left, right, then straight, then right, then left, then straight, then right, right, again left. Is that and one big circle? No, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we know what we're doing. <laughs> And it goes to this very old house. Like, probably one of the oldest houses in Ait. That's probably been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. Alright. And do you notice that they were taking side roads all the time, so they wouldn't be noticed? Hmm. Spicy. They're they're just sightseeing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, Sweet, and then they just took them inside that old house. Yeah. Awesome. Um, all right, I guess I'll keep that in mind when I come back alive. Um, I go over to the bar and see if I notice still anything or anyone going on. Uh, yeah, the only thing you notice is that people are continually, continually going into the bar, some leaving in and leaving in and leaving in and, in and leaving in. It's just a really bustling place. Damn. I guess it's got good food or good drinks or something. Got the uh, cow's own. That's pretty good. I heard. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'll go back to the two, the two of you now. Okay. Is there anything specific you're doing? Um, you are quite drunk already because you've had five drinks in like the last 30 minutes. Uh, Zach, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Zach goes in here. I don't want to get too drunk. He gets hammered. You, that was you, you guys' four as well. shots. I bought you two. <laughs> An underage wizard bought you two more. Okay. 
Sorcery. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> the age of drinking here is 14, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll it's go up to Farron and, and I'll be like... It's underage hey, in Canada. You're good friends with uh, <laughs> Vine, aren't you, Farron? Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, not really, no. Oh. oh. Why? Uh, I was just wondering, do you know if he has like a, a twin or something? <laughs> I swear I saw him outside, but he's still inside. Our little guy? Yeah. Has another little guy. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, I don't know that much about him. I could, I'd probably say no. But, you know, who knows? Why don't huh. you ask him? That's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'll go up to Ryan and ask Dude. him about his twin. Uh, he says, well... I, I don't know if... I'm not doing his voice because I can't do voices. I'm a dwarf and I do <laughs> Brian Runa. Brian Runa. Uh, he says, You saw a dwarf that looked like me? Exactly like you. I was supposed to meet him at the spire t- tonight. Oh. Well, Where'd he go? I, I saw him outside. I think something happened to him. Uh, Like, what happened? He, he was there and then some people took him and now he's not there. Like, took him as in kidnapped? Yes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, what is that Redderkin gotta do to get his wings around you? <laughs> Eden did, Eden did yeah, I did. Wings. I said I ordered did wings. So oh. That's fine. Okay. Let's shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't get I don't think Redderkin's got wings. <laughs> <laughs> Stay dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Ryan says, we should, we should try to find where they are. This dwarf might be related to me. I never met him before, but he, like, being that he looks so similar to me, I I think we might be related. Sounds pretty important. Do you, do you know where they went? Um, outside. <laughs> do you know where outside? I I might be able to track him, but I'm telling you right now, I'm I'm fucking feeling buzzed. Right now. <laughs> uh. Let's go see if we can at least find a, like their tracks then. I can't see a lot of shit though right now. Like, <laughs> look at that guy back there. You do have advantage on perception checks because of this. Nope. <laughs> uh, so the two of you go outside and could you roll a survival check, please? You guys should just go to bed so then it's the next day. I was going to say that, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. 18. 18? Uh, if you see two footprints, I mean, you see one set of footprints, then two behind it, and then you see the signs of struggle on the ground from those footprints, and then you you see two pairs of footprints going away. But it, it's very difficult to see. Okay. Hey, Ryan, you got a light to shine or something? Uh, I don't know if he does. He'll pull out sure. a torch. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you get drunk? Uh, I forget. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, disadvantage on your skill checks. Yeah. That's what it was. Awesome, thank you. Mm. He's buzzed right now, I'd say. Okay. I'm just trying to make his life difficult. Very close to being drunk. Well, also, fair. now that you've finished oh, you that drink and out? finished <laughs> yeah. your uh, memory... You have a perfect buzz right now. Yeah? Just from the one drink. <laughs> like, you're not drunk, but you're feeling good. You know? And right. you feel extremely refreshed. Nice, dude. dude. Okay, well, yeah. What? Just, no, you're living the dream. Oh, dude. man, you know it. All right, I'm going to... Or some paps, start a, game of, start a game of beer pong. <laughs> it's a great All right, guys, yeah. we're playing Twister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I'm going to continually ordering shots until I pass out at the bar. Then, <laughs> like any specific, shots. you should order the double dragon. What is th- what the are double these words? Dragon. Okay, I will. Yeah, I will order the. No, you know what? I'll talk to the bartender. I'll be like, hey, guy. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like? Uh, what do you recommend? For a really nice shot after shot experience. <laughs> uh, well, I would normally Definitely. recommend the multi bu- not multi-dimensional buzzing brew, but we only can give it to like give two per customer per night. 
that's a shame. Just because they're very easy to become addicted to. Whatever. Order her the two and then go to another bartender. and get <laughs> Just <laughs> continuously order running rums until you <laughs> fall unconscious in the middle of the floor. Uh, if you want name. to, if you want to good trot with a couple other friends, the the Chimera is a really good one. Uh, the Double Dragon is always a lot. It can all, can be fun. <laughs> then he says, like under, and he says to under his breath to other people. To other people. I uh, roll a perception check to see if you caught that. Okay. Uh, ooh. I don't know what that is. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you don't hear that. <laughs> right. Gotcha. I'll take six of the double dragons. <laughs> what does it do? Sounds good. Oh, uh, you'll find out. Yeah. Uh, so these are like fire red trucks. And you see that it's made from fire whiskey. And you see that it, it's also got some dark red substance in it. You could draw a perception check where... Uh, History check if you to figure out what it is. That's uh, cocked. Roll that again, it's or make five. it a five. That's up to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, guess it's, I guess it's a five. I'm adding history, history or intelligence. Six, six. You're not sure exactly what this is, this other substance is. Okay, I'm ready. But it, it smells like really spicy. It smells kind of spicy, but also smooth at the same time. Uh, so you take the shot, and it it does burn on the way down, and roll a constitution constitution same throw. <laughs> I'm leaving this party. <laughs> Time for our spinoff where Blaze has his solo Ooh, show. Can saving handle. throw with Khan. That's nineteen. Ooh, okay, nice. you don't burp or anything at all, and it just goes down, and it really warms you up. Nice. This is great. I'm gonna do this until I pass out. <laughs> <laughs> so take another another one. Oh yeah. Okay, just another Constitution check, please. Oh, done. Oh, these oh, are great rules. That's a twenty-four. Yeah. Same thing. Like it. Go, it actually goes down more easily this time. Uh, but it makes your throat feel really hot and your mouth feel warm. And it warms the entire entirety of you up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, this one, it's the same thing. It, it's, you feel a burp coming, but you just swallow it back down. And you actually see some smoke come out of your mouth as you... This is when you know you're going to pass out soon. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Oh, oh there's a, that's gonna be a fail. Twelve. Uh, yeah, you take this shot and you burp, and you notice flames come out, and then you, <laughs> then your ass feels really hot, and you notice that fire's coming out of the that there too. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not how I want this to go. And at that's all. That's why it's called the double dragon. <laughs> <laughs> what? Luckily, people fuck? noticed the drink you're taking, so they kind of stood back and were just watching. Watch me in excitement. Fold. <laughs> <laughs> Your okay. pants are ruined. <laughs> yep. Oh god. Were you sitting in a bar too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so like, there's this hole in your stool. <laughs> you still have two more. Fuck. <laughs> Wait. Oh, they're getting worse progressively. <laughs> That's a seven. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we, I would be roll. I'm just. Uh, oh, there you go. At 20. Yeah, so you take this, <laughs> the second dash on, and you just gulp it straight down, and you're feeling super good right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, super That's happy, su- super warm, as if like there's warmth exploding out of you. You actually see steam coming off of you. How are you not in pain? It's a little bump in the road. <laughs> Aha! Uh-huh. Uh, 20. 30, 20. Damn. Yeah, so same thing, and then since this is the last trot, everyone just cheers as you take it down and nothing <laughs> yeah. happens. But you feel hot as like a kettle or Do I feel like passing like out yet? Uh, roll up one more constitution saving through. Oh. <laughs> oh no, that's a two. Yeah, so. Six. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so you took this last shot as a complete champ. Everyone's <laughs> roaring, cheers, and you're like, yeah, yeah woo! <laughs> and then you fall un- unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> That's my night. <laughs> That's That was like... Shot for shot, Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a drinking competition. And just, yeah. Oh, boom. Uh, so, let's see, so, Blaze, uh, are you doing anything specific at this time? I'm just eating my wings and reading my book. Okay. I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the day so we can go get our dead friend back. Okay. Um, uh, Airdron will just sit beside you and ask you, like... Where you come from and where do you go? go? Where do you go? Where do you, go? Where do you come from? Come night show. Uh, uh, ah, I'm actually a tabaxi. You, you, you don't look like a. You start tabaxi. eating one of my wings with my mouth hand. <laughs> That's because I went to the depths and got bitten by some stupid fucking demon, and now I'm a monster. Wow. Well, You've been to the depths? Yeah. And you survived. Sort of. Uh, that's impressive. Thanks, uh. What were you doing down there? We were trying to stop an evil army of teleporting monsters that have been kidnapping people all over the continent. Oh, really? Yeah. It was not that great, man. I, I didn't really want to go, you know? Yeah. I, I was in... This, this shouldn't have happened to me. <laughs> I was just exploring the world, writing my book, looking up stuff. I was looking at uh, old historical art- artifacts. I was just exploring. Some rando gave me like five gold pieces, so I met the king of uh, of, uh, of Ranches, and he was super nice, so I wanted to help him out, so I took his son to Stillsby. His son died on the way, <laughs> <laughs> so I had to revive him, and then we went back, and then like, we got attacked by like these... Teleporting army and oh my! I'm just gonna regale him with okay. like my entire life story as I'm like crying, like eating wings with my mouth. Head. Okay. And now we have to go find this wizard, but also find a dragon. So is this wizard gonna turn you back? I hope so. Oh, okay. His apprentice said he might. I don't know. But now there's a dragon we have to fight, and we still have to save this, the world. And this is a lot of pressure, man. Uh, you you seem like you could use a drink. Oh, oh. Huh. Nah, I guess so. What, have, what do you mean? Have you heard of the multi-dimensional buzzing brew? I have no interest in those party tricks. <laughs> this will, this will make this drink will make you happy. It'll take away any uh, depression or anything like that you have. You know who will cure my depression? Turning back into tabaxi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I guess one of them would hurt. <laughs> Great. Uh, this one's on the house, and he brains you one, and... Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. You're a good guy. And I'm gonna... I'll drink it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this is a super refreshing drink. It is a bit strong, but it goes down smooth still. And as you drink it, you start to... It starts to bring back a memory of your... One of the best moments of your life. So, what do you actually see? One of the best moments of Blaze's life? Yeah. It was probably... What? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Probably, um, right before he left home, um, he said goodbye to his master, and he's the one who gave him his quarterstaff after, like, years of training, and then he decided he wanted to explore, because history was always his thing. So, it was, like, a really heartfelt goodbye. He hasn't seen him since. Oh, okay. So, he doesn't visit very much. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's nice to go back and see them all. So you see that, and you hear all of the noise from all of the other monks training, like, behind in the studio or wherever. Uh, you smell the freshness of the air all around you. Because this would probably have been somewhere outside of a city. Yeah, we live near the cliffs of yeah. Stillsby. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you smell the ocean water and the ocean breeze. Uh feel a cool wind on your face as all of this is happening really refreshing and you just hear your master's voice and him telling you to enjoy life and he wishes you luck on your journey and hopes that you find something historical and he knows that you will oh man (laughs) 
Blaze just starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like, back in actual reality, you do have, like, a content smile on your face. I'm also crying. <laughs> 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 that hit the feels, man. Blaze just, like, puts the drink down and says, Oh, that's the best party trick I've ever had! <laughs> and then he's just gonna put his face in his arms. Okay. Uh, Airdron will give you, like, a pat on the back. And then we'll go back to mixing the other drinks or uh, making the other food for people. That's how I'll spend my night at the hey. bar. Airdron uh, should become a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Drink did all the work. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'll go back to you, Aland- or, uh Yeah, I'll go back to you, Aelindrel. Is there anything else? Honestly, Cause I... I... This will probably be the last point that you can actually look at anything you want in the world until you die the next time. Damn. Um, Remember me. This great power and Tony's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to look at. There's not a lot going on, you know. Find the wizard. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's such a good idea. <laughs> the, wiz- <laughs> the wizard. Find the wizard. <laughs> or the dragon. Literally anything. I don't know if I would think about that, to be honest. <laughs> I, I hate that. you! <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> You're doing that just to get on my nerves, man. No, I, I rolled, dude. I, honest to God, I don't know why I, don't know why I would think about that. <laughs> I'm going to kill you myself <laughs> so you can do this again. Uh, okay, but, no. okay, wait. Um, I don't recall. Would I... Do we know where the wizard is? No. We uh, got, like, you were told in the mountain range. Um, the Frivolous Frontella. That's the flower you need to oh. get before you actually... Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have to find there. the Frivolous Frontella, and then we have to wake the wizard up from his meditation. Uh, he's, up in the yeah, he's in the mountains to the north of Eight. Okay. Um... And you know that the Frantella can be found at a frozen lake between in the valley between two nearby mountains, Mount Elise and Mount Claro. Okay. Mount which um, one? Elise. E L E S E. Mount Elise and Mount Claro. Claro. C L A I R O. On the frozen lake. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I will go look to see if I see the wizard. I think of my good friend okay. Blaze, and um, that reminds me of the wizard, so I'll go take a look to see if I can find him up in the mountains. Okay, yeah, so you scan the mountains, going back and forth, somewhat from the eastern side, north, I mean, west, north, and East, just scanning for, like, a cabin or something. Yeah. And as you, you, you're going kind of back and forth, just kind of going one path to the next, to the next, to the next. Yeah. And while you're on the west side, you actually see a dragon flying over, and it's a black dragon. Oh. An adult black dragon. Nice. My favorite. That's wicked. And <laughs> then... <Black> dragon. <laughs> roll a perception check, please. Oh, oh damn. And... Oh, nice. Dirty 20. You see the dragon land in, like, the valley between two mountains. And from far above, you think you see another being somewhere nearby on a close mountain there. Oh, damn. Uh, ooh. 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 Are you uh, zooming in to see? Yeah, I will zoom in. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you zoom in, you see that this is Phasmir. Who probably does not like us anymore, but... <laughs> Before did I say that he could hear stuff to you? Uh... He can't, I don't... He can't hear things. No, he can't I hear don't... Things. I don't think I okay. can. You can just watch. No, you can just watch. Actually, no, I can see, hear, and interact with things. I'm pretty sure. Uh, just roll and either investigation or insight check. Because you see that Phasmir is, is shouting, but he can't actually... Yeah. Here, so All right. see if he can just see what he's saying. His lips. I think there's a uh, beat where you can read lips. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Uh, you're pretty sure he's saying something along the lines of, "It is a 
Day of Death, or something like that. Day of Death. Oh, single de Mayo. I did die. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I love that holiday. Day of Death. Uh, where exactly on the map is this happening? Uh, I'll grab the map right now. Okay, sweet thing. He said between in the valley between no the wizards in between Mount Delice and Mount Claro, right? Flower. Yeah. Oh, the flowers. Yeah, the flowers, yeah. Blue flower, red thorns. Yeah, so uh, it would probably be just around uh, here that you see the dragon. Oh, okay. Just near the river. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I think that's whack. Um, I'm definitely going <laughs> to mention that to my boys when I show back up. Everyone they'll find this wacky. <laughs> Dude, we are super far north. Yeah, I, we're not going to get to Eel in a day. I'm like, oh. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> you also see a, uh, a... You also see a Phasmir that let go of a raven that he had. He had Whoa. And starts to flap back towards Ight. Oh, oh, yeah, we told him to send us a raven. Yep. What? He, we told him to send us a raven oh. when he found the dragon. Or when he needed us. When he what? found the dragon. Oh, when he found the dragon? Okay. Mm, I don't know. Dude, we can Can I follow the raven? Where's the raven gone? Yeah, the, uh, like the dragon. as he followed it, it seems to be going dragon. directly to Eight. Okay. You have a fucking gun. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. Just shoot the dragon, dude. Black, black. Dungeons and dragon, bitch! <laughs> Uh, and he just, the, the raven goes to I. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any more specific? Uh, it goes to the bar. Oh. Well, I that do, did not take long. I do think that's for my friends. Um. And you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> um. In a cart. Their hands bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, are you finally awake? Okay, okay. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um. All right. No, I think that's everything. Then I haven't didn't find the wizard, but yo, found fast mirror and a black dragon. So that's equivalent. Well, uh, if you scant more, you could probably find the cabin. Mm-hmm. Plus, you did find the flower. That was cool. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. what am I? Ta- what am I, I, I didn't look for it. I probably no. I probably don't remember the flower. No, that's fine. I I remember something about the wizard, but I don't care. <laughs> Was well, that my immediate <laughs> uh, worries? Um, so were you going to scan more? When I'm, I want to go back to Fast Mirror up at the top. I'm curious okay. about what he's doing now. <laughs> he's dying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's, he said a day for death. Yeah, because he's dying. What if he's working with the dragon, dude? You, you see him turn into a snow fox. Whoa. Or a white fox, and he starts to gallop towards where the dragon is. Fasmir is a furry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wrote that down. Um, <laughs> so is he attacking the dragon? Uh, he is definitely going towards the dragon. Oh my god. I'm going to watch something happen. <laughs> what happens? Does he fight it? Uh, yeah, so eventually he gets close to the dragon, and then he kind of... Uh, burrows into the snow and kind of crawls under the snow towards where the dragon is. Damn. Um, my boy Fasmir. Uh, and then you've kind of lost sight of exactly where he is, and then you see him pop up right behind the dragon. Is he gonna attack him? Surprise, you see him attack the dragon. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? A tiny box is gonna. Killed the dragon. Well, he, tra- he transformed back into Phasmir and oh. now was attacking him. I thought he was going to fucking no. 1v1 this dragon as a fox. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, <laughs> strategy. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is weird. Foxes are fast and agile. Um, okay. One That's... point of damage, one point of damage, one point of damage, one point of damage. <laughs> I'll use bite again. Um, 1v1 me on rust. <laughs> <laughs> this, it did seem to take quite a while before he actually got the dragon because he was trying to be sneaky about it. Uh, so now the sun is you see the sun just on the horizon just about your eyes oh. Oh, 
Um, Baby, come back. I guess I'll, I'm going to continue searching the mountains for the cabin quick. Um, okay. Because I just wanted to make sure Fastmere was actually going to attack the dragon. Because yeah. I was worried he's going to betray us. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, so um, you see this fight start to break down. And then you decide to go check where the cabin is. And after another like 20 minutes of looking, you do find a cabin. Uh, not totally on top of the mountain, but like around halfway on top of the mountain. So. Oh, yeah. And it seems to be actually like a wall-built cabin with like, made of out of logs and stuff. Nice. What kind of wood? Mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be uh, oak. Damn. The nice little cabin. Um, do I... Is it safe to assume that this is the the wizard? Uh, you know. think so? Because you haven't seen any other cabins in any of the mountains here. Okay. And do you, do you see some footprints going in and out of the cabin? Can I peek through his window? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay. You don't have street view. I don't have creep view. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, okay, so I found the cabin. Found Fastmere. Know where Artemis is going. Hate that guy. Um, that guy's the worst. Know where my friends are. Uh, I guess the sun's starting to rise. Yep. Damn. Um, I guess I'm going to go back to where my body was. See what's going up over there. Okay. Hopefully you see me <laughs> staring at you awaiting me. Uh yeah. I'm Hurry the fuck up! <laughs> I'm bound in a cart. Yeah, so you don't see anyone near your body right now or anything awesome. like that. It's... Yeah, because I'm buried in the ground, yeah. right? Yeah. Very cool. Uh, I'll go back to uh Lazarus and Ryan. Uh roll one more survival check as you try to track these tracks. Nice. Twenty four. Wow. You hear Ooh, you're drunk. these, no, you're uh, the 10 additional eyes you have seem to be finding every single source of that footprint all around you, and you actually are able to track it all the way to this decrepit, very old looking building. Okay. One of the oldest in Ait. Um, well now that we know where they went, yeah. I'm gonna talk to Ron and be like, We'll probably need some backup, so now that we know where they are, we should go back to the bar and fetch everyone else. It's a good idea. Should one of us stay here just to make sure they don't leave? Uh, sure. I'll I'll keep an eye out. Okay. And then Ryan will go back to the bar and we'll try to find all of the rest of you guys. So you see us, you unconscious, with your head on the table. Yeah. Uh... As you breathe, it actually seems like smoke, more smoke is coming out, and nice. it's kind of burning the table a little bit. But every once in a while, people still go around and like pat you on the back and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, and he sees you just at the bar again with your head on the bar, but for a different reason. <laughs> and he tells you that he found uh, some kidnappers that kidnapped whom, someone who might be his uh, brother. Okay. And that he'd like for us to uh, go to rescue him. Oh, just say Listen, no. Um, how do I put this without sounding like a dick? Um, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> we have such a big chore list. <laughs> the last thing we need is more chores. Okay. I just had a revelation that I haven't been working towards my goal at all the last like, <laughs> several days that I've been with you guys and I feel like I'm just gonna do what I want to do now and I, I'm gonna go find that wizard and I'm gonna go maybe talk to this dragon because they're like the oldest things in the world so if anyone can point me to some cool places it's that guy so sorry about your possible brother I feel like you would have remembered your brother because you could usually you grow up with your siblings that's on barn not judging I didn't grow up with them. I didn't know any family growing up. Okay. This yeah. might be my the only family I have now. Well. The only relative that I might be a relative. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna go. I'm not. I'm not going. Fine. 
And he looks and sees you unconscious. And he just sighs. He loves Baron. <laughs> yeah, but he can't actually help because he's unconscious. He's going to try to wake you up, but I don't think it would work because you are very drunk. Lay on hands. Yeah, this is Ryan and Claire. Oh, yeah, I, got, I guess he, he could use lay on hands. Greater on restoration. <laughs> So he uses lay on hands on you and you're back conscious. And ah. the majority of the alcohol is like left your system. So it's morning now, huh? Just, uh, about, just about, right? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. close. Oh. That's... <laughs> Another day closer to 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I got a wicked headache. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I found someone who might be my brother got kidnapped and we found where he, he's being held. I was mm-hmm. hoping we could go and rescue him. Short like you, huh? Yeah, looks a lot like me. <laughs> All right, have fun. <laughs> could, you, could you help? Uh, how far? It's about a 15-minute walk. Is it going to be quick? Hopefully. If it's not quick, I'm going to be very mad. <laughs> It'll be quick. You do not want mad young Farron. New and improved. It'll, it'll be quick. <laughs> okay. This one time I'll go with you. Okay. And you guys see now that a raven actually flies into the bar and lands at the table that the two of you are at. <laughs> Whoa, holy crap. I will, I will walk. And you see a message in its I claws. will walk over to the raven. Okay. <laughs> just says you're down on it. <laughs> <laughs> what does you it thought- say? You just got an Uno reverse card. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like me? Check yes or no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just W-Y-D <laughs> you uh, unwrap so. the note and it says fellow adventurers I have tracked the dragon to a valley in the mountains to the west of Ike it is a great day for death vengeance is mine and it's signed Phasmir what does it say uh, I, I will read that okay <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Fasimir found the dragon, and now it's a great day to die. Oh, this dragon guy, right? Yeah, you're a friend. Yeah, that you convinced us to help. Yeah, he gave me a sweet bear pellet. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> Listen, apparently he found the dragon, so I'm gonna go pick up Alardel, and then I'm gonna go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Says Ryan. Sorry, Ryan. You know what? I was I made that promise first, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably uphold that. That is the correct thing to do. Ryan, listen, we can always come back and help him out later. He might not be here later. Oh. Ryan, I'm sorry, but I made this promise first. I'm going with Dragon Guy. Okay, I guess it's just me and Aelardal. Well, you get that big hammer, right? No, Aelardal's dead. He's coming or with us. me and Lazarus. <laughs> do you have one of the stones of Far Speech? Oh, we only have one with the king. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I got the rock. We took all your shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he took my. I took the marbles it. and uh, healing potions. Right. Yeah. That's gonna which, be a good <laughs> Which I saw. <laughs> which I'm fucking <laughs> gonna fucking get back. Get Listen, Ryan, I thing. just. I, I, I have to put myself first eventually. Okay. That's fine. I'll see. Oh. Uh, we'll come towards. Where the dragon is after we deal with my brother. Good luck. <laughs> and he departs to go back to where you are. And are you guys headed off to the dragon? Yes. Yeah, so turn up there. Did we do a bad thing? No, we did the fun thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love seventeen-year-old you. <laughs> We're gonna go slay a dragon. <laughs> yeah, we are. Was he gone long enough for me to have a short rest? Sure. And then Aelendral, yeah. as you're like looking at your body, you, s- you in the limbo space seems to be going up and up and up and up, like going further and further away from where you are now. And uh, then you can't see anything; everything's light. And then you open your eyes, and you're 
in this hole. Buried. Oh, Buried. Because nice. they don't need to breathe. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, we go to mall. <laughs> Um, I guess I just, like, I'm gonna try to, like, stick my hands up through the dirt and okay. try to figure out what the... Well, I guess I saw myself getting buried, so I'm gonna try to get myself out of the hole. Okay, and that's where we leave off on this episode of A Deal with Demons.